Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of R Studio. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to run two-way ANOVA and postdoc analysis in R Studio. You can find my videos on R Studio, SPSS, econometrics, economics, statistics on my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe and also press the bell icon. Let's begin with the idea of two-way ANOVA. So we know that two-way ANOVA is used to examine the effect of two independent variables on our dependent variable. So a dependent variable must be normally distributed and we have two independent variables which are nominal. So we are examining the effect of two nominal variables which have various uh, categories on our dependent variable which is normally distributed. So I have already inserted the uh, data which is stored as result. Let's see. So here I have the data on gender, faculty and internal marks. So I have the data on students. So I have 60 students. Right. In gender, we have two categories, male and female. And in faculty, we have three categories, arts, science, and management. So we have two nominal variables, gender and faculty. And then we have internal marks out of 30, which is our dependent variable. So now we want to know the effect of gender and faculty on internal marks. So we can use two-way ANOVA. Okay, so what we are measuring? So first we are measuring the significant effect of gender on internal marks. So null hypothesis says that there is no significant effect of gender on internal marks. And alternative hypothesis says that we have the significant effect. Second null hypothesis shows no significant effect of faculty on internal marks. So we do not have faculty wise a significant difference in the internal marks and alternative hypothesis says that we have the uh, significant effect. Now these two hypotheses examine the separate effect of individual nominal variable on our dependent variable. Then we are measuring the simultaneous effect of two nominal variables on our measurement variable. So here it is written that there is no significant effect of gender and faculty simultaneously on internal marks. Right? So here we have three sets of null and alternative hypothesis. Two sets are for separate effect, effect of each individual independent variable on dependent variable. And third set is for the interaction effect, whether we have any interaction between two independent variables. Now let's see the uh, R script for two-way ANOVA. So I'm writing two dot ANOVA. Now we are using AOV command the same R script which we use for one-way ANOVA. It is AOV. Now let's write dependent variable first. So it is internal marks. Then we need to write first independent variable. So it is gender plus second independent variable faculty plus we want to examine the interaction effect. So we can write gender faculty. And these variables are stored in result file. So write data is equal to result. Run this and then write two dot ANOVA. So you can see the result of sum of squares and degree of freedom, but we want the ANOVA table. So for uh, that we write summary two dot ANOVA. 
so we want the summary of this uh, command so here we have the result right gender faculty and gender cross faculty so let's discuss the effect of gender first you see f ratio is 8.509 and associated p value is less than 0.05 and since associated p value is less than 0.05 we conclude that we have the significant effect because we reject the null hypothesis see null hypothesis here no significant effect of gender on internal marks but we are going to reject this null hypothesis because associated p value is less than 0.05 and we conclude that the internal marks of male and female students are significantly different from each other c faculty f ratio is 34 34.076 associated p value is less than 0.05 so again we are going to reject the null hypothesis so this time we are going to reject this null hypothesis no significant effect uh, of faculty on internal we are rejecting this and therefore we conclude that we have the faculty wise difference so therefore arts commerce and science uh, students internal marks are significantly different but which group is different arts is different from commerce and management commerce is different from arts and management management is different from arts and commerce that we cannot identify with the help of two way anova so we need to perform post hoc analysis or whether all three groups are independent uh, are different significantly different from each other so that we will discuss when we uh, do post hoc analysis and third shows the interaction effect so here the for interaction effect the p value is greater than 0.05 and since p value is greater than 0.05 we fail to reject the null hypothesis that means we are not rejecting this null hypothesis and therefore we do not have any simultaneous effect of gender and faculty on internal marks that means there is no interaction between gender and faculty now in gender we have only two categories male and female and therefore we are concluding that both are significantly different from each other so there is no need to perform post hoc analysis but we need to perform the post hoc analysis for faculty because in faculty we have three categories arts sorry four categories arts commerce science and management sorry uh, three categories arts science and management so which group is different that we need to identify so let's perform uh post hoc test so we are using tucky the command is tucky hsd then write aov our dependent variable is internal marks and then we need to use as dot factor command because our uh faculty variable is nominal so right as dot factor then result in result we want to use faculty so this is the command or r script for post hoc analysis and simply click on run now here we have the result so let's understand each column the first column shows the difference mean difference between groups so here we have groups management and arts science and arts and science and management so first column shows the mean difference second and third column shows the lower and upper bound of 95% confidence interval and last column shows the significance so it shows the p value so whether our our result is or mean difference is statistically significant or not let's see management and arts 
p value is statistically uh, uh, significant because p value is less than 0.05 so mean difference is statistically significant and therefore we conclude that management and arts are significantly different from each other science and arts p value is again less than 0.05 so mean difference between science and arts is significantly different from each other. So arts is different from management and arts is also different from science. But see science and management, p-value is higher than 0 0.05 and therefore we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So that means the mean difference between science and management is not statistically significant. So we have the overall difference here in, in faculty is due to arts. So arts is significantly different from commerce and management, but commerce and management are not significantly different. So from postdoc analysis, we are identifying that which group is different from others. So this is the procedure to perform two-way ANOVA and postdoc analysis in our studio. If you find this video useful, kindly like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you.